today I'm going to charge my car for the first time with a V3 supercharger. I entered the supercharger location in the navigator of my Tesla Model 3 and then the car started to prepare the battery for charging so it should be able to charge as fast as possible. But how fast will I charge and what will be the peak? 135 kilowatt was the record that I have seen before when charging on a V2 supercharger. But wait a little bit here now. What is the meaning of V2 and V3? Okay, the V stands for version and this supercharger that I'm going to visit is the third generation of superchargers that Tesla developed. The V3 version is capable of charging up to 250 kilowatt during absolutely optimal conditions of the battery but it's very seldom optimal. What speed will I be able to get? It's a beautiful November day here in Sweden today with the sun shining, unfortunately. The situation for the autopilot is uh, difficult when the sun is coming like this against the car and the road is wet then the car cannot handle the situation with the sun like this against the car. The supercharger is located just north of Stockholm near one of Tesla's service centers. This supercharger location actually already existed. Tesla has just expanded with several new stalls, all with the V3 supercharger standard. Maybe this is not so big news since the V3 standard has been around for some time now and it's rolled out in many places all over the world. But for Sweden that is a small market, it is the first and when it comes to new stuff Sweden is not highest on Tesla's priority list. The second V3 supercharger in Sweden was just opened last month in the city of Sveg. See, there is no number on the stall. That's because every stall has the full effect available. No sharing of power between stalls anymore. So let's see what peak rate of charging speed I will get. I start with 18% in the battery and the highest rate will be in the beginning of the charging process. Okay, let's see now how fast this will go. See, 200 kilowatts. That is not bad. But perhaps, as you know, the highest charging speed will only be available in the beginning. When the battery is filling up, the charging speed will fast ramp down in order to protect the battery.
Okay, so the supercharging process on a V3 supercharger is on its way and now we got 72% here and uh, the car says that it will be 14 minutes left until we reach 90%. We will not wait for 90% but we will wait until it comes to 80%. We can see that still it is charging on 78 kilowatt and uh, uh, it's hard to compare if this is good or bad but uh, in general I got the feeling that it has been going faster. It took 25 minutes to go from 18 to 80% 80 charge of the battery. With that you can drive maybe 280 kilometers or 175 miles in highway speed during normal conditions. The handle in the cable has a new design. The cable is thinner than the older one at a V2 stall thanks to its water cooling mechanism. A Tesla Model S or X in Europe needs an adapter to charge and also for all the cars a hardware update kit from Tesla in order to charge from the new V-Free standard. Ask your local Tesla service center if your Model S or X qualifies for the upgrade. If you would like to know more about Tesla Supercharger, you can watch this episode up here. And if you are new to my channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe to it and hit the small notification bell. Until next time, have a great life.